Aloha everybody and welcome back to the next episode of Look at That There number 10 which happens to be our poll winner from 2018. In the last episode of Talk Sunday I stated I was going to place a poll in the community tab to see which uh, video series the viewers wanted to see first in the new year 2019 and Look at That There was the winner. So with that said let's get to it shall we? I'd like to start this episode with a big mahalo to everyone uh, that had sent Christmas cards, other little treats and, and items in the mail. I really do appreciate it and really enjoyed uh, opening everything up and, and just want to say thank you to, to all of you out there. So with all that said, let's rewind the clock and pick up where we left off on May 8th, 2018 in the previous episode. If you haven't seen that episode yet, it is, look at that there, episode number nine. And a link should be popping up above in the little circle uh, exclamation point icon uh, for your convenience. So if you haven't seen that episode yet, go ahead and go give it a quick watch. And then uh, we'll see you when you come back. And for those that have seen it, we left off on fissure number 14, which was the last fissure to be identified on May 8th, 2018 which of course means that we're going to now pick this up on May 9th, 2018. This is currently what the eruption map looks like. Um, by 5.30 p.m. Hawaii time, USGS released these maps. This first map, which was issued at 5.30, shows pretty much no changes, except for there's two areas of uh, notability. First one, here in the little mini map, we see that Fissure 15 has been identified and labeled, and it's located there on uh, Poiki Road between Leilani Avenue and the entrance to the Lani Puna Garden subdivision. The second area, of course, is this area over here. Uh, it's an area of new steam that was located in another subdivision on the west side of Highway 130, south of Leilani Estates. The second map that the USGS released on May 9th was the map of the thermal image of the fissure system. And if you look there in the top right hand corner, you will see fissure 15. If you look at that there on the map, the color around 15 is white compared to everything else. And as we move down the fissure line, you'll see that basically uh, 15 is the most active fissure at this particular time and the rest uh, they're still hot but they don't seem to be uh, at least in this thermal image very active at the time with the addition of fissure 15 this is what our new map looks like as of may 9th 2018. so let's go take a closer look at fissure 15 area just a quick note that i want to point out while making this video, I discovered that the flow data for fissure 15 seems to be missing from the, um, the subset of, of the data itself. So, sorry about that. The image sliding into view is fissure number 15, and it is the fissure that actually severed Poiki Road just before Leilani Avenue. And if you look at that there, you can see two lava channels, or in this case, lava streams, flowing out of the side of the cinder cone that's being formed by the fountain eruption there in the middle. Now we're going to move on over to the second area of interest that occurred on this day, which is the steaming area that was west of Highway 130, south of Leilani. And uh, this is what it looked like. Um, nothing ever erupted there. It was pretty much just cracks formed and uh, was steamy. And if you look at that there, back in the left, uh, top corner, you can see the fumes and everything rising from the fissures in Leilani Estates. We're going to go back over to Leilani Estates now, and I want to show you some activity that was happening uh, on this day at some other fissure locations. However, before I do, I just want to give you a quick reminder, if you're enjoying this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed already and would like to, then click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notifications of when new videos are available. We're going to head over to Fissure 13 now and take a look at a very interesting phenomena. If you look at that there and listen to that there, uh, you'll hear this surging of gas um, coming up out of the, the fissure crack. And I'm not real sure what gas it would be, but according to uh, what we're looking at, the, the gas is flammable at least. 
um, but it was almost like a bellows, you know, in a, in a blacksmith's forge, you know, when you listen to it, it's just, it's an amazing phenomenon to witness, and I don't remember seeing this anywhere else uh, in any other, or, the, or any of the other uh, figure line crack eruptions, but it's not to say that it wasn't happening at those locations as well, I just didn't personally witness it. And that pretty much does it for the activity uh, for May 9th. However, uh, starting May 10th and 11th, there was a pause in the eruption activity. Um, there was no new fissures uh, identified or labeled. However, there was some minor activity going on with the existing fissures. Um, basically, and what that was, was simply uh, lots of steaming, cracks changing, widening, some new cracks forming, things of that nature. So what I'm going to show you is Kaupili Street uh, on May 10th, which I believe is fissure number three. Now we're going to go down to the end of Leilani Avenue between Kahokai and Poiki, where Fissure 5 is located. Okay, now for a look at that there. We're still on Milani Avenue, walking back up towards Kahokai, uh, away from Poiki Road. And if you look there in the middle of the screen, kind of to the left, you see the fire that's on the, the phone cable? Uh, that fire has basically been burning since uh, the cable caught on fire, and it's been going up the cable like a fuse. And this, of course, is where it has gotten to so far. Okay, we're going to head over to Compono Street, Fissure 9 now, and we're going to take a look at what was happening there on the uh, 10th of May. Something very cool that was found here, and I want you to take a look at that there, look at, and it is lava sickles. Yeah, lava sickles. These are pretty cool. It's basically where the rock was dripping because it was melting and hot. This is really amazing because these lava sickles are basically a frozen moment in time when the lava was dripping and it finally reached that point to where it, well, solidified. And that'll do it for May 10th. Unfortunately, I don't have anything for May 11th in Leilani. However, I do have a uh, video from the USGS with Puoo that I would like to show you. Um, could, because basically Puo was active up until uh, April 30th when the crater floor dropped out and the magma began to um, drain into the East Drift Zone. With that, we come to the end of this particular episode of Look at That There. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. And don't forget the bell icon if you want to get notifications of new videos when they're posted. Don't forget to also check out my redbubble.com account for uh, great merchandise, including t-shirts, mugs, stickers, and, and many other wonderful items with uh, imagery from uh, my videos and photography. And finally, if you don't follow me on Twitter at Doing Hawaii, you might want to. Sometimes I post links there. Um, you might want to check it out. Again, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the support. You have an absolutely amazing morning, afternoon, or evening.